Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Aaron Mallory, a.k.a. Mr. Let Go. And today, I'm giving you a sneak peek into my podcast where we interview the illustrious Rebecca Lynn Pope, dating expert, where we discuss how to date like a man. Let's get it. Welcome to the Let It Go Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron Mallory. And I'm Safari. We have a special guest today, Mrs. Rebecca Lynn Pope. Introduce yourself, lovely. Hello, beautiful people. I'm happy to be here. Yo, I am so happy. I'm a huge fan of this woman. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Yay! I kind of like look at her as like a female version of me, oh, or yes. I'm a male version of her. Mm. One way or the other. Okay, okay. <laughs> we are going to delve in a lot of different things, but the main subject today is date like a man. Date like a man. Why you should date like a man. Why right. you should date like a man. Why the women should date like a man. Why women right. should date like a man. Okay. Can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do and who you are? Sure. I, um, I'm i not story. really a fan of labels, you guys. You'll learn okay. this about I me. I saw that. I saw yep. that on your uh, I'm on your not bio. a fan of labels. However, I'm a, a former matchmaker. I specialize in love and dating. A lot of people all over the world rely on me to get unstuck after mm-hmm. disappointing dating or relationships or marriages and heal or figure out dating or what they may could be doing wrong or they, they come to me for all different types of things. And I also train um, and teach other coaches as well how to be successful in business as a yeah. coach. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so what have you seen out in this world, like in your journey? Who? Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm someone who keeps it all the way 100. Okay. So I was a dating beast. Oof, okay. I was a savage. Mm. So when it comes to dating, what I learned, and I, you guys, I come from a very like uh, protected, uh, my father was a pastor. So, mm. you know, okay. I grew up PK, married really young. Yeah. You know, you didn't date. You didn't date mm-hmm. where I come from because you ain't having sex outside of marriage. You got to get married. Right, right. So I got married really young and I was married for like 10 years mm-hmm. from like 20 to 30. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I, I get divorced. And I'm out here on the dating scene at 30 years of age, right? Mm-hmm. My age. <laughs> so I start dating and I'm very naive. I'm very green, yeah. right? Oh, You're I'm like, so I'm out here. Green. I'm out here like, hey, you know, if I, I'm out here to here have I fun. Here I am. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking, you know, love just shows up. Like when you're ready, you know, it's yeah. just going to show up. Because you weren't trained, right? Right. Right. No right. training, no right. experience, nothing. Right. So I get out here and start dating. I start, I'm a very analytical person. I'm mm-hmm. a very, you know, I'm analyzing, I'm listening, I'm putting two and two together. Okay. And as I'm dating and meeting more and more men and going on dates and listening to men, I'm like, wait a minute. That, this is kind of crazy out here. Yeah. And you got to guard your heart Ooh. if you're going to date. Okay. You can't be out here dating like a little Pollyanna, oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh, is, is he him. the one? Yeah. Is he the one? Are you the one? <laughs> Let, you ask him him like, the one. Are you the one? Are you the one? <laughs> oh, 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 you're not the one. Are you the one? And yeah. so literally every single date you're going yeah. on, you're looking at these men like, you. oh, he, he's the one. Who's, yeah, and your friends think that he's the one too. And not right. only that, what is the, the psychology behind the one? What does that mean? The psychology behind the one means he's the one who's going to be loyal, not lie, not cheat. Mm. He's the one who's going to settle down and put a ring on it. Mm. The one. You know, so there's this lot of pressure women put on this whole psychology of behind the one. The one. Yeah. yeah. And it's so freaking jacked up and backwards because mm. men aren't out here dating like that. Mm. Men aren't even, men don't know their butts from... They're, listen, <laughs> men are out here just having fun. That's it. That's Woo, there's that's no it. analytical yeah. nothing. We there's just no, oh, I'm out here looking right. for wifey. No, no, love surprises men. Love will yes. tap a man on the shoulder and be like, hey, hey, hey how yes. you doing? And you sit there like, oh, shoot, dog, I think I caught feelings. And they're like, yep. oh, you're so right. Don't oh, do it. Oh, I caught feelings, bro. No, not you. Yeah, man. And it's like, we're depressed. It, it, yes. Like, we're depressed because, because we call feelings. This is the end of your options. This is the end of your yes. role as a bachelor. This yes. is the end of the road, dog. You about to settle down. You about to, you know. And and it's like, so to men, it's like this, this 
ultimate like caving. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. the word. That's the yeah. word. Yeah. Women, yeah. it's goals and yeah. it's their agenda. Yeah. And so you've they got like purpose sometimes. Yes. So I just mm -hmm. want to be a wife. I just want to be a mother. I just so you literally have women and men coming at this from two totally different positions. Yeah. yeah. Two totally yeah. different agendas. One is fun. The other one trying to get married and be with one person and one dick the rest of your life. A man does not think like that. I want right. to be with one piece of tail ass. <laughs> We cuss. It's okay. Pussy yeah. For the rest of my life. That is depressing I like to her. a man. Oh. It's depressing. It's depressing. Oh my God. Oh. Wait, so wait, wait. Up wait, until a up. certain age. Yo. Up until a certain age, a I man love you. is like. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't have to come She's so me. freaking real. Oh my God. This is like a dream. Right. So, so when I, real. so I was dating, I'm out here. This is what I'm listening to. This yes. is what I'm putting it together, two and two. And I'm yeah. like, so wait a minute, this is rigged. If mm -hmm. I'm out here looking for love in this savage world of yeah. men who just want tail, I'm mm -hmm. about to get eaten alive. Like a, like literally, a, like a little kidney in a snake pit. <laughs> so, yeah. the way Rebecca rolls, I switched it up. Mm -hmm. You don't care about love. Mm. All right, I don't care about love, and love is mm. going to surprise me too. It's going to surprise me too. Love is going to surprise me too. Thank you. I, I, I think you may be onto something. Don't find but it. It's going to surprise gonna you. Surprise don't try me. to find okay. it. Okay, so what did you do then? It surprised me. I met Mr. Carrie oh, Poe. Oh, man. Mm. Our first conversation, something was different. I was on the man. phone like, ooh, yeah. ooh, this surprised. Okay. That was a Tuesday. <laughs> Went on our first date on a Friday. Uh -huh. Literally saw each other three, three, four times a week. Uh -huh. We're married within sixteen months. Ooh, That's sixteen months. It was shut down. It was shut down. When uh -huh. I say that man began to shut my time down, uh -huh. I didn't have time to keep dating. I didn't have time. Wait, wait, wait. So you kept dating? Why? Mm -hmm. This is a key. This is a key yeah. for the ladies we, we listening. We weren't in a relationship. We weren't in a relationship. The first 30, you kept dating. Days. I was entertaining the other dudes that had been around That's before what he came to along. Do. He didn't right. ask me to shut it down. He didn't ask me right. to be his woman after two days. Right. So I'm dating him and getting to know him. Do I really like him? Is it very different? Yes. Mm -hmm. But did I have some cuties on the side that I'd already been talking to mm -hmm. when I met him? Mm -hmm. Just like dudes. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Why not? Yes. Right. Wow. So I kept talking to them until he literally... You know, edge them out. There mm -hmm. was no space. I had no interest. Yeah. And he just yeah. began to. He, then he, he got to shut the point it down. where he was like, "I right, enough." Mm -hmm. We have a conversation. So for it, it, it takes a woman to be continually dating different people, or just being open to date different people. And I just for a man to say, "I right, enough." And Aaron, yeah. here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I here's do. Thing. I know I'm different. I know I'm different. Mm -hmm. I know I'm like a dating unicorn. Mm -hmm. okay? I always say, here's yes. the thing. That's why here's she's the thing. <laughs> I know I'm different. So so women will say, well, Rebecca, dating's not fun to me like it was for you. You're, you're, you're not like, dating. You're rare. You yeah. know, it's not it's not fun to women. It. Why can't it be fun? It's because fun they me. aren't I, doing I, I, it. You have, you just have to have, just let it go. They'll go out on a two have days okay. and be like, man, so, like, so, this is, I hate this shit. Right. That's how they feel. So, yeah. but here's the thing. Too serious. Yes. Women a lot. So there's 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 a couple categories of women that I think why they struggle with this. One, they're too caught up on their their agenda, mm. trying to check the box Have to say I want to be married, I want to be Mrs. Whatever. Mm. The other one is they don't focus on themselves and their sexiness enough. Ooh, okay. So tell their okay. feminine energy, their sexiness, and yeah. women are very confused about this. I need to do a video on it. Okay. Because it's one thing to be confident in what you do. Uh -huh. it's, it's one thing to be confident in your career path, your education, yeah. your, right. your making your money, uh -huh. your edu you know, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, one, yeah. That's one type of confidence. And a lot uh -huh. of women feel they're very, very confident because they've got these other boxes checked mm -hmm. in these areas. They're good to go. But then when it comes to men mm -hmm. and it comes to sexual energy, Ooh. attracting the opposite sex, having conversations with the opposite sex, mm -hmm. getting to know the opposite sex, and having confidence in your attraction, that okay. other people find you, men <laughs> find you attractive okay. physically. Okay. It's a whole nother ballgame. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of women don't focus 
and she loses all focus. Going to the gym. Everything um, was good right. until so, I met this one guy. So, and, yeah. you know, or or they just don't even know what it means to, to be able to tap into their own femininity, to mm-hmm. be able to yeah. be attractive to men so that you do have as many dates as you want, so right. that you're having the quality of dates that you want, yeah. so that you can be drinking champagne and, and eating lobster mm-hmm. two nights of the week if you want to because you, you know... Right your power as a woman yeah Yeah. and and i learned that in dating to where dating was just an extension of my social life yeah dating is an an extension extension of your social social life social life that's what it is she dropping bars so now and and listen and for the men who want to get mad when they hear that oh you just out here dating men and using up all their money and they think this is going somewhere don't flip it on me right don't flip it on right. me oh, exactly. no, oh now you're concerned about it going somewhere right when you're spending a little bit of money here's my here was my rule when i was dating mm-hmm. i said if i invite you out okay. i'm gonna offer to pay okay because if i'm thinking about you and i'm like Aaron, let's go down here. It's football season. Let's go down here and get some wings. Mm-hmm. And we're going to mm-hmm. get some drinks. Right, and right, right. you know, like, really love your energy, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, you're cool. Uh-huh. I'm inviting you out. I'm, I'm pulling the credit card out mm-hmm. when it's time to pay. Now, okay, what most good. men are not going to do, they're not going to let you. Right. Mm-hmm. When they're really interested Ooh, in you, they're not, they're not going to yeah. let you pay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But right. I'm offering to pay because I feel like that's only fair if I invited you out. Right. And I'm wanting to be around you in that moment. Mm-hmm. It's only fair I offer to pay. At least yeah. the offer just makes us feel... Yeah, like she's into me too. She's into me. She's yeah. paying. She's willing to pay for half these dates or our mm-hmm. time together, and that's yeah. cool. I won't let her, but I love how she's willing. The willingness. Everything in life, that up. especially with a man with you know with means. Now, yeah. ladies, that's game. I need Ooh, you to understand that's, that. Really that's game. game. Because yeah. a man will be like, "Oh, she, Aunt Dog, she offered to pay. She really likes me." <laughs> Let me get twenty five bucks for some wings. Let me, some, get, let me give you guys something just just to think about. Somebody said um, a while ago. They said the difference between happiness and unhappiness is willingness to do something, mm-hmm. willingness to do a particular thing, mm-hmm. and unhappiness is unwillingness to do a certain thing. Okay. Yeah. And that's the only difference between happiness and <coughs> unhappiness. The resistance. The resistance. It's just yeah. the resistance to, do. to mm-hmm. do something that you you want to do or you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. So your willingness to pay yeah. just adds so much to a man. Mm-hmm. So you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It went a long way. It adds and ladies, when you're pretty dynamic. and you sexy. And you've taken mm. the time to pay attention to your looks and how you go on these dates. Mm. And you pull out your credit card to pay for him. He's like, oh, Right. Like, exactly. She's paying for me, too. Like, she ain't got to pay for nothing. There's all kinds yeah. of psychology mm-hmm. going on in his head. And a little bit of trust is added as well. Because we don't trust just like women don't trust. Yeah. Yeah, all kinds so of that, psychology. Yes, a little bit. A that little adds bit, to the trust bit, bucket. Trust. <coughs> You're yep. so right. Yep. You're so right. Yeah. I have a question. So, do you think there's a shortage of good men out here? Like a lot of these women say, "Ain't no more good men out here." They all gay. That's they what all they say. gay. They all this. They all that. Do you? What do you think? <laughs> she like, she like so I think would I say, say b- based on my judgment of okay. men, there's a gazillion good men. Ooh, okay. come on with it. Based on how I judge men. Oh. Based on what I know about men. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Like, can you put that in a particular... That men are just men. They're, We're they're not, not good men. We're just men. They're just men. <laughs> exactly. So there's, exactly. There's this human I'm element this. to men that is like, they're these beautiful, fallible, imperfect... Creatures. Egotistical, sexy, yeah, crazy creatures, mm. and I love them. Masculine, I love men. I love men. Love men. But does that mean, according to what most women would categorize to say, good a man, man, a good man, being a man who's ready to get married, a man who's ready to put a ring on it, a man who's making X amount of money, or a man who's you know, not sleeping with someone else in the first 90 days that he's dating you mm-hmm. and man, you know, all these things that women come up with that is not who men are in mm-hmm. general. I would say that based on how most women think of men, no, there's not a lot of the men that they're saying they want 
I'm saying there's a lot of good men based on what I know about men. Right. But it's not. But it might not be that that checklist. It's not the checklist. What what is what is what is the real what is what is the real black man looking like nowadays? Like um, I mean statistically, it does not matter. Oh, I love that. It doesn't matter. Y'all it, hear that, it right? Doesn't matter. It matter. doesn't matter. It does not matter how many eligible men are out here. It doesn't. You just need one. All that matters is who likes you. That's mm. it. Come on now. That's so it. You, could you? Li- you could line them up deep. Hundreds, thousands of beautiful, wonderful black men. But the only ones that matter in that lineup are the ones who are interested in you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it doesn't yeah. matter that you like them. Yeah. Does it doesn't matter that doesn't. you think they're sexy. I mean, women are mm. very egotistical, too. Oh, it's not just so men. egotistical. Oh, yeah, and they're like, oh, <laughs> you know. And I'm thinking, a lot of the time when I listen to women, I just think they're, they're, they're full of BS. Because <laughs> I, I know her. from my own experience, <laughs> oh my you know, and mind you, I'm married. I done gained some weight, y'all. But when I was single, Girl, honey, you look, great, huh? you look, look good. Look, look, now look. Now wait a minute, honey. She came in the room. Every dude in in the other room turned around like, "Wait, who who's that?" I, but when I was single, y'all, I kept it right and kept it tight. Uh-huh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. I I intentionally did not go over a certain weight mm-hmm. when I was single. Yeah. Because I mean, I I I'm constantly talking to my husband. I need to lose weight. Baby, I love you how you are. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't look like this in yeah. the wedding dress, I'm right? Saying, I'm a single mom with three kids. I I work and you out. Look good. I dance. That's right. Like, you, you don't even. That's know. what I'm saying right. because that's one of the most important aspects of. Yeah. If you want dates, mm-hmm. keep, you your look keep your looks. Keep your looks up. Dateable. You have to be there's a, there's some uh, research. Right. There's some research that says there's this. There's it's not about how much you weigh on a scale. It's about ratios. And there's a ratios. ratio of like hips to to waist to bust that. There's this mm, range come on now. that come men on now. find attractive. Woo. And because it's all it's about the actual symmetry. It's a, ra- it's a symmetry. It's a symmetry. And so right. the closer you are to this symmetry, the mm-hmm. more men you will attract mm-hmm. based on this symmetry. And it, it's it's psychological. Yeah. It's like a ratio of, of your hips to your waist. Mm-hmm. And you know, it just it, it's psychological. Is this how we're bred as as, yes. as humans? Yes, exactly. It, yeah. It's not a black or white thing. The, it, the 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 um the, the, the silhouette to the out. That's right. And the then silhouette. The yes. And so this research shows that the average woman is is literally with always within ten to fifteen pounds of that perfect silhouette mm-hmm. yeah. for your size, for mm-hmm. your shape, yep. for whatever height, weight, everything. Your most women are within ten to fifteen pounds mm-hmm. of this perfect silhouette. So it's not right. like women. Or need to be as hard on themselves like as they super are. Skinny or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly, wants super it's skinny. <laughs> whatever is perfect for you. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think that you know, a lot of women are thinking they have all these options, and <laughs> you know, and it's just it's not real. Um, Aaron, if you oh said God. this, yo, it's so much <laughs> of what you say. Oh, oh my god. It's just not real. Oh, and and this is saying. coming from a this woman is... because you know, I'm I'm pretty, you know, it's pretty easy on the eyes. And uh-huh. I'm not I'm not being arrogant, yeah, 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 you guys. Yeah. This is just analytics, right? Yeah, like the, yeah. the the just the, the real base. Yeah, 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 the yeah, base yeah. of it. Yeah. So when I was single, you know, let's just say I met a hundred men. Okay. And I went on a hundred dates. Mm-hmm. Not sex. I'm not talking about sex, okay. guys. So don't go off the deep end because you're like, you're not the one that got Okay. You know, maybe I wasn't, but you know, uh-huh. hey, you know. Yeah. Um, but if I went on a out of a hundred dates, mm-hmm. I would say there were five men in those years, and maybe it was three hundred dates. I don't know, y'all, how many dates. It okay. Was. okay. But let's just say I get, use a hundred. That's important to for, do that. Let's just yeah. say a hundred dates, just for the ease of numbers. Right? Okay. There was like five of those hundred that mm-hmm. were crazy. About yeah. That were right. really like oh. Oh my God! Right, right, I've right. Gotta have her. Uh-huh. She's everything. Out of a hundred, uh-huh. there was maybe five mm. right. that were ab. I'm not talking about just interested. Like, you know, oh man, you know, she she has a good. Mm. Yeah, she's she mm-hmm. beautiful. She's smart. She's right, doing her thing. Right. No, that's interest. That's right. that's not. I'm gonna wife you. That's not. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. want to be with you and you be with me, and it's mm-hmm. just us against the world. No, right. that's interest. A lot of men have interest. Just interest. Hmm. Half okay. of those. A hundred of them dudes want to sleep with me. Mm-hmm. Fifty of them going to stick it out to see if they can get to the point where they sleep with mm-hmm. me. But the five are the ones who would really want to put a ring on it. Mm-hmm. Right. Out of a hundred. Right. Out of a hundred. Right. Out of a hundred. Right. Still stuck with one. Okay. So why. that's five percent. Mm-hmm. Now, 
out of those five, there was maybe three that I entertained. Okay. Because the other two, I really was, you was like, like yeah. you, don't want, you don't like them back. I don't like them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like three of them. Yeah. Then I date two of those, and I'm like, mm, no, I still mm -hmm. don't like you. It's, it's just not going to work. Yeah. There's things about you are just not going to work. Mm -hmm. Down to Mr. Pope, the right, one right. that I end up marrying. Right, right, right. Boom. Look at those numbers. Ooh. And I'm talking, I'm pretty easy on the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> So, wait, so, what you're saying is a woman, it will behoove her to date a hundred men within a, how long? Yeah. A I year, mean, it, two it, years, it, three years, I, what? Let's just say in five years, I you, hope go on, listen to this. you go on 200 dates. In how, in how long? Five, five years. years. Five years. Yeah. Yes. That, I, mean, I, I, I can see that. If you go on 50 dates a year, I mean, with these apps, I was on these apps hard. 50 dates I a mean, year. I mean... And I, okay. when I would say these dating apps, mm -hmm. mm. I didn't think scary, I was though. a they beast. Scary to me. Oh no, it, you, honey! If you gonna be scared, be scared of the man you be at the grocery store. Oh, <laughs> be, be scared. Of, wait, be, be scared, scared of the man that you you with right now. <laughs> Will he change on you? How about that? Man, How about you that? How about you run a background check <laughs> on the dude you kissing currently dating currently to see already. what's really going on with him? Be scared mm -hmm. of the man you living with. Listen, my therapist, <laughs> my therapist told me she said. She tells every single woman that falls in love with a man yeah. to hire a private investigator before Ooh, she mm -hmm. really commits. Yes. It's because important there's been too many women over her 20 year span as a therapist sitting on her couch if they've married some dude mm -hmm. and the truth comes out about these babies and the money <gasps> and the side shit and the down low and the uh, thank you. Abuse. Or borderline bankruptcy, mm -hmm. money's not really there. Mm -hmm. And it only comes out if they say, I do. So that's a whole nother story. Yeah. But you gotta know the real, the full story. You gotta know. You I mean, nowadays, and so here's also why I say you need to date like a man. Back to our subject, mm -hmm. right? Okay. You gotta guard your heart. So if you keep going out here dating like, like where is my Boaz? Waiting to exhale, whatever he, everybody's <laughs> teaching you how to do. The wait. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. Right. And all, but all these concepts. And mm -hmm. Stefan and I are super cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. You know, all of these concepts don't tell you what you're. You sh what are you supposed to do while you wait? What are you supposed mm. to be doing? You got to be doing something. So you these can't dudes just are there. out right. here ba bagging and tagging them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bagging I mean, and tagging. These dudes are out here laying and slaying, uh -huh. literally. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And and then in the meantime, what are you doing? You out here? You in the house? Th this I did not become mm -hmm. Rebecca and Pope overnight. Right, okay. Okay. it is through dating that I got to know myself. Mm -hmm. I learned what works for me. And Forget what doesn't work for men. you? Yeah. Forget about what they it's like. It's about you. It's about me. Yes. What type of personality do I like? <laughs> Analyzing what kind of conversations do I want to have? Yes. Uh, what personality is compatible with mine? Mm -hmm. I, when I met Mr. Pope, I literally was like, he over the uh, first few weeks he was just so consistent. His mood. He was Ooh. not a moody person. Yes. One okay. of my best friends was just this this woman I've been friends with for 15 years, so not moody, just consistent. Okay. That's why she made a great best friend for me because yeah. I tend to be passionate and I'm up. And right, 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 right. she was like this backbone for okay. me, right? Okay. Okay. And I and I always said, I said, I gotta find a man like her. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh I, I like that. I gotta I find like a man that. like my best friend because okay. I call her when I'm up or I'm, I'm going sideways and she grounds me Ooh. and keeps me focused. Yeah. And then mm. I'm, I'm executing and that means I'm making more money. That means I'm reaching my goals faster because yeah. she yeah. keeps me solid and centered. Ooh. Right. And I met Mr. Pope, same thing. So consistent. So you wait, know? so it's like the two poles on a battery. You are the red wire. Mm-hmm. And you just got to find your black wire. You got to find your compatible side. Yeah. A man that's going to ground you. Oh, yes, man. that's what, He's that's what a man anchor. does. Oh, he my is God. my anchor. Yeah. I have, I have, I've been married four years. We've been dating for five. Yeah. I have tripled <laughs> my income. Oh, uh -huh. come on now. Do this. Triple. Do this. High five, uh, high five. Do this. Triple uh, my income okay. since I met Mr. Pope. Okay. okay. Because he makes He made you better. better. He makes on, me Find a man better. that's going to ground you and make, make you, you better. better. He pushes. He holds. You know, when I'm falling apart. Wait. We, you got to say that again. Pushes and He pushes. And, and holds. he holds. Mm. Come on now. Oh my God! He just doesn't do one thing. So he yeah. lets me be simultaneously oh superwoman and super strong mm -hmm. and totally vulnerable and a mess. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, but and respect respect this is two hundred dates now. Yes. One one to two hundred dates. I You're mean, not gonna find that this thing. particular person <coughs> in date number three. Yeah. Or I didn't even guy know myself three. Yeah. to be able to know that I needed Mr. Yeah. Pope. This yeah. sounds like a system. Yeah. This sounds like a whole system. I think, you know, to be honest, most women don't date enough, so they don't even know themselves. That's no. number one. Right. And then there's so much pressure that women feel to fit these ideals and images and stereotypes around traditional gender roles. Mm -hmm. and he needs to make this much money because that's what fits the traditional gender role. I think I need, really need to do a class that teaches women making six figures mm -hmm. how to date. Ooh. Okay. Because okay. a lot of them are out here like trying to stick to these traditional, traditional gender roles. You're not even mm -hmm. a traditional woman. You're yeah. not traditional. It's not conventional. So yeah. what is a traditional, no, a non-traditional woman, how does she operate then? A lot of the most successful non-traditional marriages I see where women are killing it, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Really, really strong women making a lot of money. You actually find a man who's more of a team player. A partnership. Okay. Mm. It's okay. not so much now about finding the man who's a breadwinner, provider, protector. Okay. Right. Not that. Not that he still can't be those things. Uh -huh. uh, but it's not from the sense he's got to make more money than me. Yeah. Because if a woman's making four hundred thousand dollars a year, mm -hmm. five hundred thousand dollars a year, mm -hmm. where is the black man making over five hundred thousand dollars a year? Who's, and he's a good man. Who's also a good man. man. Right. Who's also attractive. Ooh. <clears throat> Who is also going to want you. And it's not short. Yeah, yeah. That's going to want you. Right. That's going to want you. That's a it's got to be mutual. It's a rarity. It's a rarity. A rarity. Right. right. First of all, the, 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 the finances alone, mm -hmm. you're talking about 0.01% right, right, of right, the male right. population. Ooh. Right. Maybe not even just black men, all men. So, mm. so break it down. Who should she date? And like what Whoever type of... Whoever makes her laugh. Mm. So... Whoever... If if it's a guy who just has a normal job and she's making four hundred thousand dollars a year, where who, where do they live? Say say in they, a mortgage she can afford, but not a mortgage 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 where he can afford. No, hell so no. he's Why going would you to live be, on his level of income and she's making half a million dollars a year. So he's going to live with her, or they're going to get a house together. It could be okay. in both their names, but I mean, but he's not going to be able to pay the mortgage. No, he but something. he pays other bills. He doesn't right. have to pay the mortgage. Right. He can pay other bills. Mm -hmm. How would that affect that man? This is why you got to have a team player. Mm. Okay. And now, team and player. then now, the other okay. here's the other element of this: the woman doing this has to be secure enough in I was who just she about to ask is about that. that she doesn't belittle that man right. because he's making less money than her. There is a team partnership mm. spirit yeah. in right. the relationship. Yeah. It's not yours and mine. It's ours. Ooh. Right. Right? right. It's right. ours. Right. What can we do together? Mm -hmm. My husband and I are partners. My husband is at home learning the new academy technology system to upload our digital courses on right. or the, all the courses I sell. Right, right, He's right. at home editing videos mm -hmm. so we make our next million dollars Ooh. from this digital platform. Come on. Do you okay. see what I'm saying? Right, right this right. second. Right, right, right. Right this second. Mm -hmm. He's over managing money and making sure money gets moved around that we keep 750 credit scores. Wow. You Come see what I'm now. saying? Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. not Team my player. skill set. Right. I can't. That's, that's not, not me. your skill set. Yeah. I am not yes. the finance, credit, mortgage, <laughs> pay bills. I can make the money, but I dag on sure. The way my mind works, them bills ain't getting paid. When Ooh. I was single. When I was single, everything was on auto pay, um, just so I could have good credit. Yeah, because yeah. why? Yeah, I'm not yeah. about. To, I can't remember. My mind is not on yeah. paying bills. I yeah. I totally agree. That twenty five dollar bill. Oh crap! Late again. Oh, <laughs> I totally I'm here agree. With how much yeah. money in the bank? But yeah. I'm forgetting to pay bills and it's right. affecting credit. No, right. Carrie Pope. Yeah. Carrie Pope. Mm. Right. Together, we're better. And what, and what what element do you bring to him? I am his fun. Oh, okay. come on, I man. am Carrie Pope's come on, favorite fun. toy. I am Carrie oh, Pope. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'll just keep it real. School it's sex, fun and toy. sex, 
fun. Uh -huh. It's learning to let your hair down. He was in ministry for 30 plus years. Oh, you know, man. he comes from being a pastor. He comes from, you know, straight laced. Right. And I'm coming in, you know, I'm like the city Spunky. girl. Yeah. Right. You're like a city girl. I'm like, like this city girl. He's like, you know, he was out in the country, small uh -huh. pastor. You know, yeah. I, was, I yeah. mean, him, I'm like, look, we got to live it up, honey. Mm -hmm. you know, tomorrow's not promised. Right. Yeah. So we mm -hmm. bring this balance to each other's life, you know, mm -hmm. that is like, he grounds me, I lift him. Oh, you drive us Come on now. Yeah, together we have yeah. this fabulous. You know, we have a blast. We laugh. Mm -hmm. We have a great time. We travel. So we just we're having a good time. Yeah. What I get yeah. for that from this. But is, oh oh, okay. here's the other thing. Okay. I met Carrie Poe. Man, he was sexy as hell. Ooh. Okay. I had said I would never marry a pastor. Okay. Never. When I on our first date, I was walking across the street. We were down at Atlantic Station. You know. Mm -hmm. um, What's that restaurant down there? Yard House. Yard House. Yard House. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's standing out in front of the restaurant waiting for me. He's so mm. nervous. Because he kept he's, he had just talked to his best friend. He said, dog, if she looks like these pictures. Wait. So this is the first date? We met on Facebook. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. First okay. date. Uh -huh. He said, he told his best friend, if she looks like her pictures, yeah. I'm really in trouble. Yeah. And I came walking across the street uh -huh. towards him. And he just, the, he just, this big, huge smile, yeah. you know, broke out yeah. on his face. And I'm like, what are you doing out here in front of this restaurant? He said, waiting on you. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like one of those movie moments. You yeah, know? I like yeah, it so yeah, cute. Yeah, like, yeah. who waits out in front of the restaurant? Right, you know, right, no one right. does this. <laughs> Me? You know? Yeah, like, I would, I would he wanted to make sure. Yeah, he wanted to make sure. You know? Yeah. You but here's you this handsome, oh my God, girls, listen. First time I saw Carrie Pope in real life. I was like, I feel like I could eat him alive. Ooh, mm. eat him alive. Okay. Like, literally. Yes. I'm looking at him like, uh, oh, there goes hubby right there. You know how dudes be like, yeah, there yeah, goes yeah. wifey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at Carrie Pope like, you just got chose. Mm. And you yeah. don't even know it Surprise. yet. Surprise. And right. I literally say that all the time. I really chose him. Mm -hmm. I chose him. Mm. He was not as experienced dating as me. He'd just been married like his whole life. Right, right, I right. Ch like, ladies, make do some choosing. Yeah. Do some choosing. Yeah. How does she do that, though? I Listen, I, everything within my feminine power to lock it down. Ooh. As in what, Ooh. though? I kissed him <clears> on <throat> the first date. Okay, you kissed him on the first, on the first date. Okay. And he's looking at me like... What is going on right okay. now? Now, okay. now, granted, okay. I understand my own power. I mm -hmm. understand my own attractive level, yeah. traction level. I understand right. women who look like me don't do that. Uh -huh. and you understand makes, body language. I understand all yeah. of it, yeah. right? Our chemistry was off the chain. Our first date lasted four and a half hours. Wow, that's a we good first We didn't want to leave each other. We just were talking, talking, yeah. talking. I love yeah. dates so, like that. Yeah, it's just, oh, it was amazing. Yeah. And so, you know... I made up my mind very early on, like, this dude ain't going nowhere. Ooh. Okay. I said that. He ain't going nowhere. He don't know it yet, but okay. he ain't going nowhere. So how do you go from this dude ain't going nowhere to continuing to date other people? Because in the back of your mind, you're like, all right, this is the guy, but I still want to... Yeah, he had, he had to jump know. through some hoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Let him you jump know, through I had some to, hoops. I knew I really liked him, but mm -hmm. I still didn't know him. So I have That's to it. still get to know you him. You still got to get to know him. Yeah. You can't say, I really like him, and then <coughs> end of story. Mm -mm. You still got to get to there's know gotta, him. There's that mm -hmm. vetting and qualifying process mm -hmm. to really know. Vetting because, and that is yeah. part of knowing yourself and valuing yourself, knowing what you bring to the table. Mm -hmm. To say, I deserve right. a really good person who's going to respect and love me. Right. So that means right. I have to you know, kind of do diligence to make sure right. he's who I think he is. He is who I think he is. You have to prove the fact that he is who you, who you think he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How long do you th do you think it takes for the average woman to prove that he is who I think he is? The average woman, probably six months to a year. Six months to yeah. a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you think she's, women get caught up in their emotions a lot, mm -hmm. so they they're trying to make the man be. Who they want him to be versus really seeing who he is. Yeah. Creating yeah. an illusion. Yeah. Do you think it's the narrative and not just the emotions? <coughs> I think it's bigger than emotions. It's the narrative. Like, I want this to work. So yes. they start forcing a yes. square peg into yes. a hole. Mm. And ignoring all the red flags and right, all the signs right. that he's not fitting. Yeah. And then they turn around and just throw it. Oh, I'm emotional. Oh, women are emotional. Oh, I mean, no. I, I think it's the narrative that you're, because to me, the biggest thing I, I just hear from the women I've talked to, there's a there's a there's a background of time that's going against her. 
mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. She she wants a child. Yeah. Uh, she wants to get married. She wants all these things by a certain the, the age. Clock is ticking. There's she's a clock got, ticking. Yeah, she's got an, an imaginary clock that's yeah. ticking for her. And and I, you know. So here comes the narrative. That was one of the things that was, you know, I'd already been married. Yeah. I already had my children. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I had that to my advantage. I wasn't pressed Mm -hmm. because I've already been married my whole life. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get married too fast again. Right. So that's different. And then also Mm -hmm. what's hard is I, (coughs) first of all, ladies, women are getting married a lot later now. Yeah. Slow down. You don't have to be in your 20s and 30s to get married and have children. You take, shouldn't be in your take 20s. Take your time. Getting married, to be honest with you. Yeah, at all. Yeah. Because so, our, like, our marriage is ended, right? That's right. Yeah. Because we got married so freaking Too young, early. And we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know what we wanted and didn't want. Didn't know ourselves. Yeah. And, you know, um, <clears throat> pressures society puts on us to mm-hmm. do the right yeah. thing, yep. whatever. Stay too long. Right. So, you know, that's first of all. Second of all... Is it the end of the world if you don't get married? No. It's not. And I think that's the new narrative we're beginning to see evolve. Mm -hmm. We're beginning to see women realizing marriage is not all it's been cracked up to be. You know, and that, (coughs) excuse me, women, women, it is not an equal division of labor in your conventional marriage. And I think what most women are realizing is, I already go out here and I work this nine to five job. Mm -hmm. Still traditionally in most marriages, women still carry the brunt of the work in the household. And when it comes to kids, the house, everything else. So now we're working outside the house and we're working inside the house and it's not an equitable division of labor. And I say women, the hell signs up for that um that's what they want to a certain <laughs> and, and I, degree i though. get it they do they'll they do it want, without the man they want it i understand so they damn sure do but it with it, the man to me i i'm just asking you to question that mm-hmm. i'm asking you to say is that logical yeah. is that real but then you wonder why women especially black women are breaking down mentally breaking Ooh. down physically they're coming up with High blood pressure and cancer and stress. (laughs) Exactly. Because you're carrying too much. Mm -hmm. And it's like I when I first got married, I'll never forget I told my husband, look, you got about two, three times a week I'm gonna cook. And that's about the most I'm gonna cook. Right. And well two, three times, that's actually good. Yeah. And I felt like that was pretty pretty good, Mm -hmm. right? Because I don't wanna cook that much. I I don't want a woman to cook me every cook me every night. That means I gotta come home (laughs) the same time every night. You know, I'm sitting here running how many companies? I yeah. don't have time to be worried about chores in this house. Right. Like I'm the maid, right. right? We started having little disagreements about chores and stuff, and I'm like, I'm hiring a maid. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he's like, No, we don't need to pay that money on a maid. You know, we can do this ourselves. No, we use he's from the country. He's, he's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. Traditional. Right. Yeah, I'm not spending two hundred dollars <throat> a month on a maid. You know, we can do this ourselves. I said, No, you can do it if you're not yeah. wanting to spend this yeah. money. Mm-hmm. And I said, Does Oprah fold clothes? Does mm-hmm. Oprah? He's looking at me like, you ain't Oprah. Well, that's number one. Grandma didn't have a company, you, though. That's what I'm saying. And I'm right. like, I'm sitting here like, look, last time I checked, the housewife doesn't have three companies she's running making mm. all this money. Come on now. It was only within that, after that first year of marriage, we had ended up having a maid because mm. he finally broke down and I was tired of Why hearing his Why did it take him so long to break down? You get a Because he's traditional. Yeah. He's yeah. traditional. He's and he wanted like, you to do the work instead of a maid I, doing the work? He, yes. Why? But I think it had more to do with traditional values. Yeah. Okay. And also lifestyles. You yeah. hear me on this, ladies. I'm a city girl. Mm-hmm. He's a country guy. Right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm up here. It ain't nothing to me to think about having a okay. maid service. Yeah. Right? right? It ain't right, nothing. Right, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. look, what is this? This is money. My yeah. An hour of my time is worth way more Woo. than... A maid. A maid. I, it's better for me to pay someone to do this because my time is better spent mm-hmm. making money with my companies than it is folding clothes or cleaning floors. Exactly. That's logical to me. Yeah. That's logical. Right. Uh, but everyone doesn't think like that. You know, and those are those compromises you have to make in relationships. I mm-hmm. understood that my husband came from a different background than that. Yeah. He didn't think like that before right. he was with me. Do you get what you want uh, most of the time with your husband? I think you do. I think... <laughs> She knows how to get it. I I think that I spoil myself. 
Oh, come on now. That's number one. Yes. Okay. I spoil okay. myself. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I want something, I'm going to figure out how to get it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm not just relying on my husband to spoil mm-hmm. me, yeah. if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. And then in, in addition to that, he spoils me too. Okay, that's so, good. So, yeah, he spoils me. So sure. you're spoiling, you're being spoiled double time. Instead of sitting around like, you don't buy me nothing. You don't do this. It's kind of like a scenario where you're driving down the street and you see somebody on the side of the road and their car's broke down, right? Mm-hmm. You're not necessarily going to, you know, be in, inclined to want to go help them. But if you ride down the street and you see somebody pushing a car, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you'll be more inclined to pull over and say, yo, let right. me help you. So if you're actually taking care of yourself, making uh, making yourself happy, mm-hmm. He's going to be like, oh, damn. And that's what I advise I need for to, most women. I need to pitch into make making you happy. happy. That's yeah. right. If you have certain things yeah. you like or a lifestyle you want, go get busy creating go that get for yourself. Busy pushing the car. That's okay. your normal. Yes. That's your normal. So yeah. when a man meets you, that's your normal that's life. That's extra. Yes. Yeah. Now he knows what he's signing up for. Because mm-hmm. he, he sees you in he action. He sees you doing it. Yes. Yeah. Versus saying, I want a man that's going to upgrade my life and give me these things. Give me. And that's what a lot of us men see that we just like, you know what? I don't want that life because I don't want to be, I don't want to feel inclined to have to give so much, Mm -hmm. you know? But if you're giving it to yourself already, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all a guy is doing is like jumping in the jump rope. Yeah, adding extra. He's just just getting the timing right. Right. Let me go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dope. And I I think that, you know, and I spoil my husband a lot. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, there's nothing I wouldn't do for my husband. Yeah. Nothing. I think if I was a man, like my wife would probably be like the most spoiled woman in the whole world. Why? Because it's how I love. Okay. It's yeah. like, I'm going to love you so much oh, and so good, mm-hmm. and you're going to have it so good, mm-hmm. I will ruin you for anyone else. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Let me ruin ask you, something. you. What if you were dating, right? Mm-hmm. And the 100 guys, it just didn't work out, right? Mm-hmm. And you're back out here single, right? And you have this want to like love, right? Mm-hmm. But you can't find anybody to love. Mm-hmm. How would that make you feel? Like you're dating, you're doing this, and you're just like, I think I'm tired I, of dating. When I, want I was single, somebody to love. I poured that that sexual energy and passions into my businesses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, had other, she yeah, had an yeah, outlet. I had other outlets. You yes. have an outlet. I was, you yes. know, I'm passionate yes. about this. There's a lot of women that say they're tired. I'm so yeah, tired. Yeah, I, I was this. really I'm tired of what? They ain't doing nothing. I was really passionate about yeah. my businesses. Yeah. I still am. I'm a very right. driven person. Yeah. Okay. And so a lot of my energy and focus went into my businesses and my goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, I never was at a point where I'm like, oh, God, I just want someone to love. It was because you're, not, you're, you're, so, you're too busy. I'm too you're busy. Not you're, around, you're not sitting I'm around the house busy. looking at love and hip hop. And when you, make, when you Yo. flip the script and you become the hot commodity mm. in the dating Market. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was always more men wanting me than I was wanting them. Because you're busy. Because I'm busy. There's a dynamic, and I sent. That's what I sent out that message on Valentine's, times, and I said, "Date like a man." Yeah. Busy when men are crazy about women who are not thinking about them. Oh, they love you. Facts. I mean, stop thinking. It about would me. drive them nuts yeah. when they're like, "Oh, you know, let's go to out Friday now." I'm like, "Oh, I can't. I'm busy." I'm busy. And immediately in their mind, they're like, "Who it must is be some other dude." Yeah. She's yeah. seeing another dude, mm-hmm. right? And right, then they don't right. like that, yeah. And it's offensive uh-huh. because it's like she was wants to be out with this other dude uh-huh. instead of accepting instead date of with me. me. Right. Who did, does she not recognize who uh, I am? They, and it know, makes they, us want to prove ourselves, right? Yes. Now they start yes. breaking themselves yes. to impress you yes. and get you to be in occupy your time. Right. And and you know, ladies, men will play games. You know, they're like, oh, you know, um, you must have a date with someone else, and they expect you to then say, no, no, of course not. I would be like, yep, yep. Sure. Or it, or yeah, well, that's not your business. Yeah, no, no. You ask me. Uh-huh. This is this is my my rule. Okay. If you big enough and grown enough to ask me a question, mm-hmm. you big and grown enough for the answer. Okay. If you don't want to discuss those things, mm-hmm. then don't bring up the subject. Gotcha. Because gotcha. so if you're gotcha. bringing up yeah. me dating other people, uh-huh. there I'll never forget. Uh, there was a situation, <laughs> and he was trying to play that game, and mm-hmm. I said, I said, wait a minute, did we have a conversation about? Exclusivity. <laughs> we, I love the look on her face. So she's like, "Wait, did we did, just did we 
I did love I miss it. something? Yeah. Yeah. Are, or are you trying to have that conversation right now? You don't want me to see other people? Because I assumed you're seeing other people because we haven't. Mm -hmm. had that type of commitment conversation yeah. you are seeing other people right are you seeing other people you know I, or, or are you trying to have a commitment conversation now they're all discombobulated because mm. they're not ready to have that conversation yeah. now they can completely back off and leave you alone oh my god and it's yeah. esta been established i am seeing other people and i'm assuming you are too right 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 so right. now they don't know what to do with that yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. you gotta play that game with them because at the end of the day they're trying to get you to feel bad like you're a hoe Mm. If you're seeing more than one man, mm -hmm. even if you're not sleeping with anybody, right. they it's all geared to make you feel guilty like you're doing something wrong. In the meantime, he's still screwing mm -hmm. the other two women he's been screwing since before he met you, mm -hmm. but trying to get you back you into a corner to where you're not even dating anyone else. Mm -hmm. And this is what leads to situationships. And yeah. to be honest with you, you're not playing the game. He's the one playing the game. He's playing the so game. So you're not playing the game. All you're I'm just doing being is real guarding my heart. And being being busy. <coughs> so yeah. the, the one thing that women do that really gets them hung up mm -hmm. is they emotionally commit to a man who has not asked mm -hmm. that of them. Mm. Yes. Heavy. Yes. In other words, you stop talking on the phone to other men. You stop going on dates with other men because you really like Bobby. And nobody asked you to do and that. No one asked nobody you to do that. You. Bobby yeah, didn't ask you. Time. Bobby don't want yeah. you. Bobby's still screwing Sally. Be right. You know, mm. and yeah. ain't ready to give up his consistent maintenance mm -hmm. chick for yeah. you yet because he right. don't even know you like that. Yeah. We don't even know you like that. And That's now, the bottom line. <laughs> I don't know you. And in the meantime, you up here thinking you already having dreams about walking down the aisle with Bobby. She, she looking with dresses and rings already. No, this is a thing. Women yeah. are actually buying dresses now. Yeah. Picking out rings. They're Do you understand now. what psychologically that does to you as a woman when you have already picked out a wedding dress and you're going on dates looking for Mr. Right? Mm. And 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 to be honest with you, <laughs> it's, it's, it's this insane. is this is the I feel like it's insane. This is the narrative that, that I'm saying. And then it, like, it's, what about it's just of like stick somebody like in this slot. You know what I'm saying? Delusional. It's it's delusional. If I was a man I would think you were crazy. No, you are crazy. <laughs> it's not thinking. You are. They're so desperate and caught up on this narrative. Fine, wedding And dresses. the agenda you, that you are what? wanting to create. Guess what you didn't do? Every single dude you meet, you're trying to make him be the one. Instead of vetting him. Instead of being patient. Instead of you yeah. being the catch. Instead of the dynamic. You the one, yeah. Listen, men want a catch. There's a thing in their DNA that loves the chase, that mm -hmm. loves the hunt. They love to feel like they're winning something. Mm. It's competitive. Let me say this. <laughs> That's the wrong. If I went fishing, right, mm -hmm. and I knew that there were, was one fish in his pond, mm -hmm. I would not want it. Because mm. it's one fish. Because it's just one fish. It's just one fish. And <laughs> That's a good one. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. Like, no, I don't so, want that little funky fish. Right, so if you're just, <laughs> right, so if you're just sitting there like a bump on a log, like waiting on the man, oh, like God. you want me, like uh, uh, you know the pick me. I don't, yeah, I don't want you. Pick me, pick me, pick me. I don't want. I you. would, I would tell dudes, don't pick me. Yeah, I'm, I'm your worst. Don't, I'm you your worst nightmare. Change. We I would wanna... tell, I would tell men, I'm your worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I'm your worst nightmare. You don't want these problems. I want to figure you out. And then they're looking at me like, what is my? What is wrong? Yeah. With you? But I'm telling you, I'll mess up your whole life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, I'll mess up your whole I life. And that right there would turn me on. I'll mess up your whole I'll life. I'll mess up your whole, your whole life. life. Yeah. Because and that's and so it, sexy and, for a woman to say that. And my exes, my exes, <laughs> you guys. I'll uh, never forget when I got engaged. Okay. Oh, my God. Women, when you get engaged... Every man who's ever dated you or loved you comes out the woodwork. Oh, mm -hmm. hey, I want you back. Oh, my God. It's almost like they feel like you cheated on them. I've done that myself. <laughs> I see You're being honest. Like, you're being I'm honest. Like, I'm literally like, really? I just seen an ex, like, take a take a um picture with her boyfriend on social media. I'm like, yo, we don't do that. <laughs> 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 like, what is she doing? Like, right, you feel some type of way. I ain't been with her in years. I'm up here looking at her like, yo, we don't do that. Right, because it's like there's a part of you still feels like yeah. she's yours. Yeah. I'm like, what is you doing? You Take don't know this dude? Yeah, Who somebody is this dude? Did, somebody did me like that. I just, I just put a dude on, I just put a guy on, that on my story, <laughs> and then he was like, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, I literally wanted to DM her. Right. So literally, 
Oh my god. You know, men are so territorial. I wanted to DM her and be like, yo, what so you doing? Be careful. What are you? Why are you? I haven't seen you in like five years. You talking about being careful. Oh they my come out god. The what are we doing they here? can't handle it. They no. can't handle it. No. Men cannot handle what no. they dish out. No. They can't handle it. Well, we ain't putting women on social media. And y'all shouldn't either, ladies. My exes. Oh, I'm sorry. My, I had one woman <laughs> years ago. I had a, a, a social club in Atlanta. Mika? And um, <laughs> you know what? Yeah. And what's funny is literally uh, one woman peeped me. Mm. Okay. Because, you know, I had a social club, really huge social club here in Atlanta. Uh -huh. And I would post pictures with different people different times. You're out at events. You post pictures all the time. And somebody, I t took a picture with a man on a weekend, and it was on in my photos and posted on Facebook, and somebody in one of the comments said, oh, is this your new man? Oh, God. And somebody who was in my social club who really analyzed and watched everything that I did, she, she came in and commented underneath and said, no, that ain't her man, because if it was her man, she wouldn't have posted him. Mm. And it's like, and she, on, she had observed yeah. that if, if I'm dating somebody, ain't nobody going to know who it yeah. is, and I'm playing that real close to my chest. And literally, oh, there's the picture. Oh, they're Aww. cute. Aaron, stop hating. Huh? I was just like, Super wow, cute. really? Seriously? So do you think women don't need to post <laughs> on, post a man unless that's her, no. her husband on social media? Even if it's your husband. No, I post Carrie and I all the time. Yeah, because y'all are married, married, though, right? Yeah, we're married. But, I'm but, just but here's like, the thing. It's done wrong. When you're dating... <laughs> You okay. don't post random men that you're dating because okay. he could be gone next week. Right. Yeah. Okay, your husband. But before your husband, you shouldn't do it, right? Yeah. I that's mean, what I'm saying. you're practically engaged. Right. That's how I feel. Because you, need, you feel. need to still be available. Wait, so, yeah. so you're saying I should DM her and be like, what you... What, no. What, what, what <laughs> I'm, <doing? business. laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm right. Just joking. That's her business, Erin. You know, Stay a lot of her going on. It's tax time. You know, a lot of, a lot of women got these men that they can't... And then it's tax time. Yeah, they you posting right a dude and it's like March. Yeah, they do you right realize right what you looking like Shoot. out here? Like, oh, pfft, that, that, he just <laughs> wants some tax money. Oh, do you know it? Because you know, y'all got to think about this. Just no. like you said earlier, Rebecca, we don't necessarily <laughs> want all of that. So for a man to be okay with you posting him on your social media, mm -hmm. there may be a side of him like, ah, uh, you know, it's tax time. All right, run it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If there wasn't tax, I'm like, right, no, right. you and, put me on your social media. And you have to remember there's levels to this, you guys. <laughs> all right, all right. right? I haven't got money back on taxes. <laughs> I know. Business owners, we don't. Right. But no. working people, they still yeah. getting four, right. five thousand dollars back. Right. Yeah. Right. I know, hate so tax there's time. like levels to this. It's yeah. like, no, we are not the same. Right. You know, there's no such thing as a return. Right. I'm always paying. But we it, file as late as possible because you're about to come up off some lists. Some money. Some money. Right. right? So you, you sitting there crying. Yeah. Yeah. So you know I think, I'm serious. But this brings up a very good topic is that mm. social media has changed everything. Yeah. It's mm. changed everything. Oh. People right. want to impress their friends. Yeah. People want to impress. Do you their think guys uh, want to impress their friends also, oh, or is it mainly listen, women? Listen, there is there is nothing more uh, validation validating to a man mm -hmm. than to have a bad chick on his arm. Facts. Oh, they love that. Facts. So, yeah, he he definitely is wanting to be able to show off whoever he eventually is choosing to be with. Oh, choosing, choosing to, to be, be with, with though. Yes. Yeah. Not you no see random. that. Not, Not just, random. Right, right, yeah. right, right. But right. the woman he's going to really settle down mm -hmm. and, and post on his social media and everything, mm -hmm. yeah, right. he wants that to be someone that yeah. he's proud to be with. Because to a certain degree, he's not going to post just a, a random chick on social media. But for the younger men, we would show <coughs> off a good-looking woman oh, yeah. and let... The guys around us know, like, uh, she ain't nobody. Just yeah, to have the guys being it. like, wait, her? Yeah. She's nobody? No. Uh, she, she, uh, this is normal to me. Now yeah. the guys are like, Stunting. wow. Right. Stunting. Damn, that's what you usually date? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes we'll show off a woman that we don't want. Mm -hmm. 
just for two wild friends. guys. Just to show a guy like this ain't nothing. Like that. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's almost like we're the opposite. You right. know what I'm saying? This ain't my boo. And, that, and, listen, <laughs> and that's why I, I say men and women are coming at this from two different perspectives. I did Facts. a video on my YouTube. It's called When a Man Wants You. Mm, mm -hmm. Come on, we got to go into that right there. And, you know, it's really around this, the, the psychology of men and women, mm -hmm. right? And here's the major difference. Because of sex, a man will still exhibit all of the activities and behaviors that will make a woman think he's interested Ooh. Mm -hmm. because he simply wants to sleep with her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a woman can't understand that because she's only going to date someone because she's wanting, you know, I don't, I'm not, I, yes, I understand someone around here just barracudas dating for sex. Right, right, I'm right, talking right. about your average woman. Mm -hmm is looking for commitment mm -hmm. and looking for love. She wants to be wanted. And and so when you're out here dating ladies, what's happening is you're meeting all these men and they're doing all of these behaviors and they're saying all these words that make you think this is going somewhere. Mm -hmm. When 90% of the time, they just wanted to hit and quit. Mm -hmm. and 90%, so 90% hit a few, of the time. Wait, hit, hit about 10 times and quit. Yeah. Not hit one time. Yeah. I mean, it's time. Unless it's garbage. Number 10. Unless it's garbage. Right, right, right. right. But, I yeah. mean, but reality we need is, is that it's, so an men angle. and women are coming at this from two mm -hmm. totally different perspectives. Yeah, yeah. And because of the sex factor, mm -hmm. men will engage with you yeah. and entertain you for the simple fact that they wouldn't mind sleeping with you. But they know this, right? No. So the women don't know this. Women don't know this. Why because what this? happens is, okay. it's not like men are honest. Mm, it's not, not like yeah. from the minute yeah. that man decides, eh, I can't really see being with her, but I'd hit. But hasn't yeah. the same thing been going on since she was like 14? It doesn't matter. Remember, she's looking for the one. Yeah. So she don't care. It's all no. about. So it's all yeah, about yeah, yeah. the agenda. So the as long agenda. if he's not outright telling her, I just want to sleep with you. Right. She's thinking this is going yeah. somewhere because he's exhibiting all the behavior mm -hmm. that says he's calling, he's texting, we're mm -hmm. going on dates. Right. How does she know right. he just wants to sleep with her? And it's already made up in his mind he would never be with her. Okay. Why would she think that? Because we do make it up in our mind. Like, yeah. I'm never going to be with Very early on, mm -hmm. you guys know whether or not you would be with someone. Mm -hmm. But that still doesn't mean you don't keep going out with her because you're eventually going to get her in bed. Yeah. But what about the guys who would literally say in code that I'm not ready. I never want to be with you? In other words, But you they know, don't hear that in code. So they, it's a gray. They put them in a gray it's a area. Gray. Yeah, it's, it's a gray, gray area. area. And most men don't even like, say it in code because we'll they know if she catches on, he's not going to be able to hit. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, she. Yes, he would though. Women, men don't think like that though. No, Aaron. Not at all. They are not honest like that. Okay. I've I've dated some pretty suave dudes. Ooh, mm -hmm. tell me. About I had a really really great guy friend who really was the one who put me on game for yeah. real for real okay. and he said the gray area is where men thrive we do yeah. it's not black or white we yeah. don't want to answer direct questions mm -hmm. we don't want to define this we don't want to say what this questions. is they're mm -hmm. gonna they're gonna sideline you if you start trying to take some direct questioning mm -hmm. you know they're gonna change the subject right he said we thrive in the gray area mm -hmm. it's in the black and white women thrive mm -hmm. because women require certainty Exactly. Yeah. We yeah. don't. So if, if you're in the gray area and you don't know what you're doing, ladies, the man is winning. Mm -hmm. In that situation, the man is winning. When you don't know what this is yeah. and you don't know what's going on, mm -hmm. he's definitely the one in the dynamic that's getting over. Right. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, men are not going to tell you, man, Rebecca, you're great, but I could really never see myself, you know, really. Or I can do you. way better than you. Right. Ooh. You just got to say that. Ooh. They're Come not going to say that. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> and because yeah. women are sitting here like, well, I'm beautiful. Yeah. All women feel they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. don't care right. who you are. Women have an ego, too. They're like, well, what does she have that I don't have? What do you know? <laughs> yeah. We all got vaginas and yeah. two titties. And, oh, so, and here's the thing. And mine is good. I got right. Good. They yeah. swear they got the best Punani vagina ever. in the world. They're like, ooh, what, so, once he get this? Right. And it's like, sweetheart, vagina is vagina. I'm yeah. telling you. Mm. And this is why it takes men reaching a certain point in life where they've sowed their wild oats mm. or been out here doing whatever they want to do and they start mm. to want to settle down. And just a thought, we barely ever, ever, one more time, ever, 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 ever <laughs> married the woman who had the best vagina we ever had. 
No. Ever. No. no. Best head like, we ever had? No. Yeah. Never. Because that That's woman, not the woman doesn't that have married. all of the other characteristics you want. In right, because she's focused on, on, <coughs> on you know, everybody has a certain, mm -hmm. uh, 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 a great point or what, you know, they, they, they focus on. Yeah. And if her best point is sex, we ain't getting nowhere. Mm -mm. There's you so just somebody that I yeah, had the best sex with. I'm not marrying yeah. you. Yeah. Because sex doesn't equate to marriage. No. And doesn't. that's why I try to let women know, like, mm -hmm. sex has... It has, it has something to do place. with it, but it doesn't equate to marriage. No, no, definitely not. Yeah, they focus and on their looks too. 99% of the men you're going to meet, ladies, are not ready for any type of commitment mm. at all. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter that you could be the most perfect woman in the world. Oh, let's get into that. Uh, you could be I'm woman. a good woman. Why wouldn't he want because me? Let's get into that. Because he's not oh ready. God. Not he's ready. not ready. Oh. And he is not at a point in his life where he's ready to settle down. No matter how good of a woman it you are, no matter how good your pussy is, no matter how in, him, it doesn't matter, it right? It doesn't matter. He's not ready. Yeah. He Which is what, right. back to my point of why you've got to date like a man. Mm -hmm. Because if you are out here with your heart on your sleeve mm -hmm. and 90 plus percent of the men you meet are not ready for anything serious, mm -hmm. that's like sheep to the slaughter right exactly so <laughs> is it yeah. act, just just stop being ready what women yeah stop being ready stop caring stop caring well what does ca stop caring mean because that goes against the psyche of a woman though you, you got to kind of you know women require certainty so the first thing she'll say is being wants on a certain level of certainty right but, but she's going to say dating like a man means you put your goals and your money first okay mm -hmm. goals and money first I love that goals and your money are first gotcha. Gotcha. You're, gotcha. You, you are first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so here's mm -hmm. my here's, here's how I dated okay do I like you does your breath stink mm -hmm. <laughs> could I see myself kissing you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay basic test pass do okay. I like being around you and hanging out? I like your energy. You're cool. You make me laugh. We have fun. We mm -hmm. like that's a good vibe. Okay, we go on a second date. Yeah. Second level. Second date. A Mario Brothers. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you pressuring me for me sex? For pressuring me for sex? No, I don't like you now. Mm -hmm. Bye. Boom. Yeah. Next. So, Didn't make it so, to the third level. So literally, you start to be to form a team. Yeah. Of men you're dating. Mm. And you like this one because you like to go watch football and have wings with this one. Because mm -hmm. you guys like the same team. And you mm -hmm. guys can cheer for the same team together. Right. You like this one because he's an awesome businessman. And he's so freaking smart that every time you have a conversation, you're learning something from him. Mm -hmm. that About business. And he's a beast. And you're like, yeah. oh, my God. I love him. He's like going to go get your MBA from Harvard. Just right, go on right, dates right. with this dude. Right. right. So you love yeah. that about him. Yeah. There's somebody else who just... He, there was uh, one guy I dated, he knew all the so, the social life, like all the newest clubs, all mm -hmm. the newest spots, the best restaurants, the best drinks. He was just, he would have like, take you to places with private back room doors. Like yeah, that kind yeah, of place, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like, yeah. where are we going? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, yeah. this is cool. A phone, phone booth type of uh, restaurant. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. have one guy, oh, that could last forever. Uh, you know, you can uh -huh. do that forever. Yeah. Going yeah. on drinks and dates like that. Yeah. Yeah. One guy you love going dancing with. Another guy you love to travel with. Another guy, I mean, so literally, men become part of your fabulous life. Mm. But what if you got two small kids and you can only date like two times a week? And you got uh, all yeah, these. Then you the favorite two. Yeah. If favorite I don't two. like you, mm -hmm. I'm not going on a date. Yeah, that's I'd rather, that's I'd exactly stay, how I'd rather stay home and have a glass of wine I mean, than right. go on a date with somebody yeah. I don't like. That's right. me. That's right. me all day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So now yeah. it's just having fun. Mm -hmm. Because what what you what women have to understand, you are not in control of when love shows up. Mm -hmm. It has to be somewhat like by mistake, right? Like it's you like said, right? Ha it's like surprise. surprise. It's a surprise. It's it's, it's yeah. that yeah. it's it's yeah. a it's a God thing, mm -hmm. and that's the part. It's not in your control, right? Mm -hmm. right. Once you accept mm -hmm. that there is there's things you can do to position yourself to be better positioned to attract love mm -hmm. and to be ready for love. You can do your own healing work and yeah. get right. your mind right and be open and things right. like that. Make right. sure you're not blocking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But beyond that, mm -hmm. all you can do is be the best you that you can be. Mm -hmm. Show up on dates to have fun. Because don't nobody want to go on dates to go on an interview. <laughs> but dating <laughs> is the interview process, though. But so how do you differentiate? I didn't, differentiate I didn't interview. Them? Okay. I didn't interview. I went on dates for fun. 
Okay. And in the but I'm an outgoing person. Yeah. Okay. So I'm yeah. sitting there like Aaron. Mm-hmm. So what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we already talked on the phone a couple times. The vibe was cool. That's uh-huh. why we're on the first date. Right, right, right. It's right. gonna be like. So, hey, what do you like to do? What are you up to? Mm-hmm. You know, oh, I love to travel. Where are you going next? Next right, thing you know, right, we're right. pulling out our passports and looking at stamps and uh-huh. talking about what you're planning to do and where you're right. going. And, and then you start talking to me about your business and I'm talking about my business. Mm-hmm. So, I'm enjoying your company. Right. So, you're getting to know right. him. I'm, I'm enjoying you don't have to getting to know mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Oh, you right. were married right. before. Why didn't it work out? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So, the stuff is going to come up anyway. So it's not like an interview, There's like, no okay, let, answer this question. Yeah. Right. Everything There's just no goes pressure. over the phone. Okay. It's Hello. more like I'm getting to know you. I'm right. making a new friend, mm-hmm. and I'm determining if my new if I would like to kiss my new friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right? Is, right, is right, there right. chemistry that it, for, uh, it mm-hmm. to be romantic, or right. am I just making a new friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that I takes like that. all the pressure off. Mm-hmm. And it's like I said, I kissed my husband on the first day. I really liked him, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I, did, I didn't do that. Yeah. I mean, it was not something I would do. Right, so I right. really liked him. That's good. That's but it's good. just, then it's like, it takes all the pressure off and you're just having a good time and you're meet. I met incredible people, yeah. incredible men. I had the most amazing conversations mm-hmm. with men, getting to know them, listening to them. Some of them would just be out of, you know, divorces and they're right. hurting and yeah. And guess what? They're crazy about you because why you're listening. Because you're listening. You're listening. <laughs> this is like, favorite, that's this my is favorite, favorite thing, thing right there. You're so listening. Sweet, Rebecca. You're, you know, you're, 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 you're actually so easy listening to, to talk me. to. Yeah. You're such a good person. Yeah. You know, like, it's, so just be a good person and have yeah. fun. And be yourself. And be yourself. Stop trying to do stuff and just be. And and now and, I, and I'm not saying that you won't break some hearts. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying yeah, that. Yeah. That's part of dating, you guys. Yeah. Some people are going to like you. And you right. won't like them. Some people, you know, you're going to like and they mm-hmm. don't like you. Right. And I was dating this one guy one year and um, I really liked him. I mm-hmm. really liked him. And I just kept feeling this vibe like he wasn't as into me mm-hmm. as I was into him. Uh-huh. Again, he wasn't, he wasn't telling me. Right, right, He just right. felt it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah. know what it is when someone was crazy about me. Uh-huh. And he just wasn't. He had it. Yeah. It wasn't there. And so I start asking him more questions okay. on dates, you know, and I'm like, oh, you were married before. What did your wife look like? And he mm-hmm. showed me a picture of his wife. I'm like, oh. And I had already heard because I knew a lot of people. I knew this other girl he had dated before me. Uh-huh. And she looked like his wife. Mm-hmm. And I was like. Mm-hmm. We, we we do that a lot. Oh. I was like, we date women that look like the one we, the, yes. the one that got away. Yes. We date the women that look yeah. like and the I, one that got and away. And so yeah. I start asking, I said, oh. I said, you kind of have a type. <laughs> yes. And he was like, what do you mean? I said, you like, like really, really high yellow women. Like almost look like Latina. Like yeah, the real, yeah, and the curly one. hair. Because it's what these two women look like. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, what do you mean? He, and he got this look, like this guilty look on his face. We date the one that got away. And I mm. said to him, over I, and said, over again. I said, but I don't look like that. Mm. And he's like, no, you're great. You're great. I mean, you're great. You know, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, great. Yeah, I yeah. hate that. Like, he I'm a like, puppy. Right. You're great. He was like, he was like sometimes, you know, something different is good. I said, look, mm-mm, this is what we're not going to mm-hmm. do. I'm not going to be some runner up right. to, so cute. to what you really want mm-hmm. just yeah. because I'm pretty. Right, you know, right, and right. just because, but good isn't good enough. Mm. You know, good isn't great. Because everybody in Atlanta is and pretty. It, that's right. And if I don't do it for you, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to sit here wasting my time because I don't look like what does it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. So and he was so upset. For you to ask, ask, how does your ex look? That's very, what is the word? That's bold. I investigate. I find the ex without me telling you. I'm bold. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 so you say, how does your ex look? Yeah, Show me a picture of him. Yeah. I was like, what yeah. are you? But see, but this, oh, but of course, we've already been dating, so mm-hmm. there's this. Trust. He's relaxed. Yeah. He's yeah, yeah, trust yeah, yeah. me. We talk like friends. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah, when you, yeah, yeah. when you bring, there's a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People or something. Uh, that was one of my John best, best uh, books I've yeah. ever read. Yeah. Read yeah. this book. Look, you gotta mm-hmm. learn when you're dating. You gotta get, pull people in. Mm-hmm. Let them, they, you know, make them feel yeah. like they could talk to you about anything. Mm-hmm. Because if it is gonna be something else, it, you need to be best friends. Carrie Pope is my best friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can tell him anything and everything. Yeah. So if it really is gonna have a chance anyway, you gotta be able to be best friends. So I would create an environment in my dating situations with men that we could talk about anything. Mm -hmm. That man to the literally, I went. I never forget one of my um, that man. We we weren't even dating anymore, but we were such good friends. Right. 
I one of my business accounts got frozen. Okay. And I I mean, it was like my big business account. I oh, have man. no money. Mm-hmm. Like I was up a creek, y'all. Mm. I called him. He literally, I said, I need ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars. And I literally had that money in my hand in an hour. And Ooh. y'all were at just one, friends. Y'all were just well, we friends. We weren't even dating. I need them type of friends. Wow. He had that money in my hand in one hour. In and one I had hour. it back in his hand within two weeks. That's Ooh. so beautiful right there. That's so beautiful. And and that's why I say it's like there's I think sometimes in dating, you guys, we forget that we are human beings. Mm -hmm. Just because something doesn't work out romantically doesn't mean that I regret meeting you, that I regret connecting with you. I met such incredible people. That's the reason why women should date. Yes. Instead of having this narrative, oh, you're not the one. I hate this. Get friends. Meet men. Learn. There were men that were so smart. So true. You guys, I mean, I'm talking about business moguls. I'm talking about men. And you learn from them. Listen, yeah. I, mean, I went to business school dating yeah. men. Mm. Literally, I'm picking their brains. How'd you do that? What did you do? What do I need to do? Oh yeah. What is it? You know, how do I build you. my business yeah. credit? How do I put this in place? You need to be learning from people. I enjoy. And men love to talk. They do. If you, and especially Ask love to talk about shit. what they do and what they love yeah. or their business or their interests. Yeah. They love yeah. it. Yeah. So literally, it was like, you know, men would be crazy about me because mm-hmm. it was like, I just, you I listen. enjoyed getting to know them. Yes. And even we don't get that a lot. Even if it didn't, wasn't a, a chemistry, if it wasn't a connection, I don't think that anybody I dated that I met would would ever say they regretted meeting me or I and I can't mm-hmm. say I regretted meeting them. I yeah. love that. I love that. Yeah. Because I just we just enjoyed each other's company. Yeah. So that's wow. What it's about. And and if so I think if more people would date that way. Well date period. Or mentioned. just date. Just date. Period. Just date. And and ladies date one with of the, no expectations. No right? expectations. Right, right. You got your right. own life. Secure your own bag. Mm-hmm. You know, buy yeah. your own Louis V. I buy, think a lot you know, of women are are um <coughs> They're they're looking for a provider, but they can't provide it themselves, and they, and then that's why they're so mad. Like they moved to Atlanta to get a baller. <laughs> man, listen, I'll never forget. I was single, and this married man tried to get with me, and um, I I told one a girlfriend I had and said, you know what he was offering Ooh. to set me up, mm-hmm. right? As he wanted me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like. Better get out of here with this mess. You ain't about to have me hemmed up. Hemmed right? up. Right? Like, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. ain't trying to have wives knocking at the door of my new condo. Uh-huh. Like, oh, you yeah. got my husband and do Or right. peeing up my new Mercedes. Or, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and I'll never forget, I told one girlfriend, I was like, I told her what he was on. She's like, girl, you crazy if you don't take that. You crazy, girl. He's setting you up. He's setting you set up. me up for the fall. For the right. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> set up is a bad thing. They it's don't a, care. Like, they don't care. And I said, and not to mention, I'm not trying to finally, eventually meet the man of my dreams. Uh huh. And then I'm in love, and then he over here cheating right. because I sold that bad karma. Yeah. You know what I'm saying with somebody yeah. else's right. husband. Right, right, oh, right. Man, get out of here with that mess. But that's how some of these women are out here thinking. I agree. Like I said, I learned there's a whole other side for all the really, really good women out there. You're like, oh man, when you hear people talking about these these horrible women, they exist. Uh-huh. It's mm-hmm. real. Yeah. There's some barracudas out here. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Barracudas. I tell men all the time, you better get a prenup. <laughs> I, if I was a man, I have. Did y'all a get a prenup? Pre-no? But if I was a man uh-huh. well, and you... had all my and had millions, uh-huh. okay, yeah, okay, okay, not no regular day, not no regular day. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you better get okay. you a prenup, honey. Okay. These women out here, because ladies, listen to what I learned about women. The barracudas sound exactly like the good girls. Yeah, they say all the right things. They do all the right things. They know how to act. They know how to move. Everything that's like, I'm a good girl. Mm-hmm. Trust me. Right. Let your guard down. Oh, I never do this. Mm-hmm. I never sleep with anyone on the first night. <laughs> I never, I've never sucked a dick. Uh-huh. I've never, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm serious. They're, they're sitting here yeah. acting like yeah. good girls. Right. They right. got it down pat, you uh-huh. guys. But yeah. then you're wondering why men are like traumatized mm-hmm. and literally like totally broken up. Because they're out here trusting these women, and then they get their hat handed to them. Yeah. And now we're just yeah. like, you know what? And you're like, Never you're so shocked. And you're yeah. like, because men don't bounce back like women. 
They, sure, I, don't man, take a long time. If you get hurt, you get your heart broken like one good time. I mean, really. It's over bad. for at least 10 years. It's a struggle. My husband said when he met me, he was like, I'm giving this one last chance. Yeah, and one more time. One more time. Like, I'll, I'll never try that get when married I'm again. 60. Exactly. He said he would never get married again mm-hmm. if it didn't work with me. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. he would have been hurt. Because uh, in in our minds, like one, there's no rush because we can get older. We can do whatever we want to do. We look better when we get older sometimes. Oh or whatever. yeah, my husband is sexy as hell. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like it's no rush, and it's just like y'all the one who, who want to get married. So <coughs> y'all kiss my ass. I ain't marrying none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? They just having fun out here dealing that. But you know right. what though? Here's the thing. I think women should date older men. I, I, I like that. My husband's yeah, 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 yeah. about eight years older than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there, it's a good match. What is the longest threshold you think that is like? Before my husband, I dated a man who was about fourteen years older than me, Ooh, okay. and yeah. I feel like that kind of cracked it open mm-hmm. for yeah. me because I had never she really said dated. It open. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because. <laughs> but you know, but if like you haven't dated yeah. older, you're not really open for it. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. so horrible, Eric. You're so horrible. And so it's like that kind of like opened up my mindset to be like, okay, I could yeah. date an older man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I met my husband and he was eight years older than me, mm-hmm. not 14, I was right. like, oh, okay, That's not he's bad. more fly. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Because the 14, year, the 14 year difference, I felt like was too much. Right. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit of a That's a lot. And, I, and, and, and listen. You can't really I, relate with somebody. It That's, takes yeah. men longer. Ladies like to build up their money, their experience, their maturity, mm-hmm. to know who they are, and come into that grown man mm-hmm. confidence, and and just and just really have grown everything. man confidence. Yeah, to yeah. like have it all hidden. Mm-hmm. It takes them a little longer to come into that. I totally agree with you. So it's like if you're, you know, a thirty-five year old woman, date a man who's forty-five. Yeah, I, I think that that's a good idea because um, it also I, they're attracted to younger women. Too. That and this is the, that's just we the are. safari. Mm-hmm. So now it it brings in the dynamic that women are looking for. So how old are yeah, you? Thirty. So if you met yeah. a forty year old man right now, yeah, okay, uh-huh. he gonna be like shuck a duck at woo. I've, I've he robbing yeah. the cradle. Yeah. He's gonna be yeah. looking at you like, oh my god. You know, I can yeah. get somebody that. I that, can get. That's yeah. like 30? She's, yeah. I've got. I got this thirty year old woman. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Who is interested in me? Yeah. And they're and, and they, they're poking their chest out like, oh yeah, yeah. And, and, they desire you and they desire you, and they want. And now to. they spoil you. Yeah. They're doing everything to reel you in. Yeah. So mm-hmm. now you get that dynamic where you feel like you're a princess, a queen, yeah. and they're treating you like amazing. And the maturity is there. Exactly. So Sometimes that they so play. the older Sometimes, the older yeah, man yeah, yeah, younger yeah. woman dynamic really hits on the elements of what makes a woman feel really cherished. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. husband, man, he's like sweeping me off my feet. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. That's what's he up. made me feel like I was the best thing ever. Ever. The most yeah. beautiful woman in the whole entire world. Mm, come on. Come on, now. That's Get you like a good 40, 42 year old mm. safari. Listen. He gonna be like, look, looking for you in the daylight with a flashlight. Like, where you at, girl? <laughs> where you at? Where you at? So how does um the average woman who has the habit of not dating, just coming home, going to work, coming home, go to work. Apps. What's the first? Oh, okay. First thing is apps. Okay. Apps. Get on dating Which apps. Which ones are the Okay, apps. so here's, here's what I learned when I was dating. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I know I was pretty easy on the eyes, guys. Yes. Okay. But men never approached me. Yeah. They right? would look at me. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But it was always like that snaggle to crackhead at the gas that station. That I actually say something. That <laughs> I actually say right, something. Right, right, right. It was right, never right. anybody like really viable. Mm-hmm. And a couple, you know, maybe in, in all the years I was dating, there's two guys that stand out there really mm-hmm. talked to me that I ended up dating. But Do you it was know so what, rare. what we're thinking while we don't approach you? Do you know? Well, my guy friend, my best guy friend, yeah, yeah. What did he, say? he told me I was intimidating. You, you weren't impro- approachable. I'm not approachable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I'm smiling, I'm making eye contact, mm-hmm. everything that you know to do for a man to feel like, mm-hmm. he said, Rebecca, you're too beautiful. They just, or either, yeah, some of them are or either yeah. sometimes we're like in a our dirt bag month, mm-hmm. not stage, because sometimes we just feel <laughs> like... We just want to run through somebody or whatever mm-hmm. in, in, in April or yeah. something. You or, know what like, or I so, look high maintenance or I look yeah, like I, I so have to step if I'm correct. In my, if I'm, a, if I'm a, in my dirt bag month, uh, dirt bag two months or whatever, right. and I'm just looking for somebody to just take down, right. I see you and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, no. Because hey, she's going to yeah, require, she's gonna require way she's too gonna much. She's going to require way too much time. I ain't got time for that shit. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 So, so if I had not been on apps, you guys, I would never have had any dates. Mm. 
if I hadn't been on apps. So get on dating. So apps. here's my best advice for okay. for online dating. First okay. of all, your pictures have to be bomb. Mm. I'm saying different angles. Bomb. Yes. And here's you can't give too much because people you give too much for people to judge. So you're we going, do do there's that. a psychology to this. So okay. you're gonna put up two pictures. Mm. One picture is like. Ooh. Like a headshot looking selfie picture. Yeah. Pretty face, makeup did, hair did, uh-huh. you look beautiful. Okay. Face, bam. Bam. Okay. That's a close up of what you look like real life. Boom. Okay. Here's my face. Second, full body. Mm. Has to be full body. Full body. Yes. Full body. And it's yes. gotta be either in a dress or something that's showing your curves. Yes. It's gotta show your body, your actual yeah. body. I don't care what size you are, shape you are. It because here's another thing, ladies. If you have a big butt, the man who's going to be crazy about you likes big butts. <laughs> if you have great legs, you shouldn't be in a picture that's not showing your legs. Mm. Because the man who's going to be crazy about you is going to be a leg dude. Mm. Mm. So you need to be in a dress that's above the knee with some pretty heels on. If you mm. got to take professional pictures or have your your cousin or whoever could take you to the mm-hmm. park on the weekend with these iPhones, honey. These cameras mm-hmm. are bomb nowadays. Yeah. Take you some really great pictures. If you got breasts, show a little bit of cleavage because the man who's going to be crazy about you is going to be a breast man. Breast man. Whatever oh, man. you've yeah. got, yeah. the men who are crazy about you are mm-hmm. going to be into what you've got. Yeah. Yeah. So accentuate whatever your assets are, mm-hmm. period. Right. Me, I've always been a curvy girl. Small mm-hmm. ways, killer curves. Mm-hmm. Always in a bandage dress. Yes. Super tight. Yes. I always still had this kind of like little conservative, almost like first yeah. lady sexy look to me. Even okay. when I was single. Right. So a dress would be below my knee, yeah. mm-hmm. but super tight, right. high heels on. Okay. Yeah. What do you, who, if someone's looking at me, they're like, okay, medium tone, light skin, very, very pretty black woman, curvy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if that's what does it for you, I'm your girl. Right. Yeah. Right? right? Right. That's what my picture yeah. shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Now, the bio, not even that important. Nobody reads that stuff. <laughs> so you keep it simple. You keep it positive. It's not a rant of what you're going to deal with, what you're not going to deal Ooh, with, what your mean. ex did and what you don't mm. like. No, it's positive. Because we don't care what you don't like in a bio. No, they're not even reading that. If We're your not pictures, even, yeah. if, if your pictures are not good enough, the only reason somebody's going to read all that stuff is if your pictures suck. If your pictures suck. If your pictures are beautiful, they're messaging you off the rip mm-hmm. just because you do it for them from those pictures. I agree. Mm-hmm. So we're two creatures. pictures, yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. You sit there and filter through the messages. You're going to only respond to about 5 to 10% of the messages. Mm-hmm. You're filtering and vetting the messages. Right. You're going to open the message, go look at their profile. Listen, men, the very best men in the world do not take great pictures. Uh-huh. Because they're not narcissists. They're not Ooh, sitting here with their on, chest out, <laughs> trying to do selfies, looking like models and yeah. personal trainers. And yeah. you no, know, you, you don't want the pretty, pretty. You darling. don't want the pretty, you pretty. The pretty. Because right, you right. are the catch. You are uh-huh. the pretty yes. one in this You're situation. You're the pretty one. You're the right. pretty one. So stop Wait. going after pretty boys. Is she the narcissist or no? Nobody's a narcissist. <laughs> yeah. I have a little bit of more narcissistic. Okay, okay. So anyway, so now you're vetting. You're actually going through the messages. You're uh-huh. only going to respond to about 5 to 10%. That means out of 100 messages, you maybe respond to 5 to 10 messages. Mm-hmm. The reason most women have really bad experiences with online dating is they respond to too many people or they respond to the wrong people. And they get overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. They get overwhelmed. It mm-hmm. feels like the men are trash. Or it feels like they're perverts because you're right. responding to all the Tom, Dick, and Harrys in the world. Right. And there are a lot of pervs. Right. Men are perverted. You know, I mean, they're, they they, they want to look at your toes. They want to lick your toes. It's mm. just weird crap that's going just, on. You know, it's just the way it is. Mm. So you're going to respond to their messages, the ones you actually look at their pictures. And in your discernment, in your spirit, you look <laughs> at their pictures and be like, he looks like a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't mind going on a date with him, or at least right. talking with him on the phone, at least to see if I want to go on a date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you down vetted, you respond. If he wants to keep hanging out on the app and doesn't want to get your phone number, skip next. Keep keep messaging guys, but.
but only the ones that you are truly interested How in. How fast do you exchange phone numbers after fast. somebody messages you? Fast. The same if you day? Have to have a, fast. Okay. fast. Okay. You, if you have to have a Google number. Yeah. Oh, get a if Google number. That's if a good idea. If you don't like them having your personal cell phone. I had yeah. two phones when I was single. Mm, come on, man. Okay? One yeah. for my, my kids and my family. The other one, one for, for the these holes. dudes. Run these dudes. <laughs> <laughs> there, at the height of when I first became single, when I was I divorced oh, you guys, man. she had two phones. I, I would it. listen. I, I, I would two, send two. out a message. Listen. I would send out a good night message to like twenty four dudes and get twenty four messages back. Good night, baby. Wow. Yo. I'm single. Yeah. I, this is all new to me. I'm and then having the thing fun. About it is you're not doing anything wrong. I'm not doing yeah. anything wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not dedicated, committed to anybody. Good. So. Now you got you want it, the whole goal is to get off the apps. Yeah. Okay. So you exchange yeah. numbers quickly. Okay. If somebody was going back and forth with me too much, they're like, Rebecca, what do I do? And he hasn't asked me for my number. Give him your number. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, dude, I'm not on here very much. Not do, you know, yeah. you don't say it like but that. Does but does that mean he's indecisive? No, it doesn't he mean anything. He could be busy. He could be okay. occupied in business meetings yeah. that week. He ain't okay. on the app that much. Right, right, he right. means to get around to it. And I'll be yeah. like, I would say something like, I have these messages. I would just copy and paste. I'd be like, hey, hon, you know, I'm not really on here a lot. I'm really copy busy. And paste? Here's yeah. my number. Right. You know, hit me up when right. you're free. If you're wanting to get together, you uh -huh. want to have a conversation. Okay. Because when you don't care, you don't have to word it perfect. Yeah. He's either going to call or he's not. Because you're not overthinking. And you're not overthinking it. It's not got to yeah. be worded perfectly. I'm not invested in this dude. I don't even know this dude. He's mm -hmm. a stranger. Mm -hmm. So now you start getting... And and then when they call, you immediately are like, what's your name on the pro on, online? So you go back and refresh your memory on who he is and look at his profile. <laughs> then you, in your phone, you're going to put Take a picture his of the person. profile name. Uh -huh. yeah. You're going to yeah. say POF. Uh -huh. You know, sunshine smile, yeah. Tom. Tom, right. Yeah. You know, his real name, then his <laughs> his online name, uh -huh. and snapshot a couple of the pictures off his profile and, and put it in it. under. And then you save it. Yeah. And then you yeah. save it. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. a pro right Now there. you got about 10 dudes in your phone from your online dating profiles, mm -hmm. and you got somebody that you can go have a drink of wine with. You got somebody to go to the park with. You got right. someone to get some ice cream with. Yeah, yeah. And you know, now you're dating. You should, you should I actually got, I actually got... <laughs> I bet I, I bet I got because my 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 contacts come from uh, each phone or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm quite sure I still got um, so and so POF in my phone somewhere. What's the best app? I, I think POF is the worst I'm gonna of the check, worst. I'm gonna check through. I think POF is the worst of the worst. Well, here's my take on things. Mm -hmm. POF has about 52 percent men on it, mm -hmm. so there's still more men on the site. Oh, look, guys. What? Oh, I see. Look. Let's see. <laughs> <P -O -L. laughs> Look. Wow. Oh, wow. They're still in there Mr. from all Mr. the years ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Got their pictures in there. Yeah. Look. Yeah. So. I, I remember these people, too. <laughs> so, the thing about apps, my bet, I hear really great things oh, about wow. Bumble. Bumble wasn't around when I was single, but okay. I hear really great things Tinder? about Bumble. I hear about people getting married off Tinder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we heard that. You yeah. Okay. And and so Black I don't people meet. I don't know that sucks. That's garbage. It's, it's garbage. <laughs> it's garbage. Okay. Um I met the girl I showed you on Black People Meet. Okay. Long time ago. But that was about fifty. Yeah, was Black about People Meet was popping for a little about 12 bit. Years but ago. it you know, it, it it got real ghetto. It's a new one called real Black quick. too. Black. Black. Heard that it. don't yeah. sound I like that sound like so, the, Some you put on your car. The like, apps didn't really matter, you guys. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, there's people everywhere. There's, there's people good everywhere. people everywhere. Yeah. And the, and think about what I'm saying. Like even from my perspective, I my outlook. I always said there's good men everywhere. To mm -hmm. me, dating was like a smorgasbord of men. Right. Because I see good men everywhere. Like you know, I remember I yes. see dead people. Like the movie. <laughs> I see, I see yeah. good yeah. men everywhere. There's good men everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there you're just one click away from another professor or engineer yeah. right. or. Yeah. Businessman, yeah. or you know what I mean, because yeah. I wasn't. Let's go on. Let's go on. <laughs> because I wasn't dating like put me on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was dating like on. I yeah. just want to meet good people. If I, just I like your meet energy. Good mm -hmm. Just good people. Like yeah. if yeah. I could, if I could have drinks with you and have a good time, because I just worked a sixty-hour work week, mm -hmm. and now and we, her down and have we a good can time. we can have fun, right, and, right, right, and dance and have a good time. Yeah. Man, so when I would be on the apps, 
that was my whole point. I'm looking at pictures and just reading their profiles. Like, do I like you? Just kind of in general, do mm-hmm. I like you? Would I not mind spending two hours with you? Right, right. And that was my judgment for whether or not I'm going to give you my phone number. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's simple. It's that simple. No overthinking. No reason to get overwhelmed. Now, I will say I have preferences. You know, I love businessmen. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love so if you have a preference that. like that, you'll tend to date high quality people because okay. People who have a certain level of success in business means that they have a certain level of intelligence mm-hmm. and there's a certain intellectual tends to be, I you agree. know, the intellect. There tends to be levels to this, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So when you start vetting based on those types of preferences, you will meet really, really good people. Yeah. Okay. And then your dating experiences are better right. because you're dating good people. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I, I think that led me, you know, well <clears throat> in my mm-hmm. dating choices. Okay. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. We got. Our, I know we went over, but oh, it's God. fine. Oh no, um, we could though. Where but... can we find you, Rebecca? Rebecca Lynn Pope. I'm the only Rebecca Lynn Pope in the whole wide world. See, look at that. See, <laughs> unique. A unicorn. That's why when I met my husband, I'm trying his name on. I was like Rebecca Lynn Pope. That's brandable. That'll work. That's very uh-huh. brandable. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm the only Rebecca Lynn Pope in the whole wide world. You just Google me. I come up on everything. On everything. What are you doing now? Um, because I know you're a former matchmaker, so um, <coughs> what are you doing now? Uh, I, 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 you know, I have clients all over the world. People mm-hmm. come to me for very different reasons. Okay. You know, um, I'm real popular on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So people watch a video about one thing and that makes them want to talk more. to me, right, you know, and right. they'll, they'll book a consultation. And mm-hmm. so a lot of my work one-on-one with people tends to be around uh, business goals or healing from mm. heartbreak. Okay. And issues Oof. with relationships. Right. Um, so that's a lot of the work I do is mm-hmm. really in helping people to heal and think right, believe yeah. right, believe abundantly, believe big in themselves right. yeah. and in uh, what God's doing in their lives. And then um, I also teach business. Okay. okay. So I okay. teach a lot of coaches how to be successful. I teach right. a lot of six figure coaches Ooh. how to make money and how Come to do on that. Now. Okay. Okay. So okay. that's that's yeah. pretty much what my work consists of every day now. Okay. Okay. This was uh, an amazing eye opener right here. Yes. It was so Thank many you nuggets so much for dropped. On. I, I I know I'm Gems a lot, y'all. All day. I'm a lot, but I'm a lot. Yeah. So, we all are a lot. Right. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with being a lot. She's dancing. She's doing that. She's doing that. She got right. kids. She, Right. You, know, we, you know, we all, we just, we just, I, I think, you know, being alive is a good thing. <laughs> I think if more people would believe in themselves mm-hmm. and love themselves mm-hmm. I mean, and have fun in life, you know, I, I, I'm the shit. Yes. Well, come on now. You know, and, yes. and so, yes, and it doesn't it matter if you don't think I am. Right. I mean, all that matters is that I know what I you am and what yourself. I like. Oh my Ooh. God. And so I if you it. go into the world with that presence, mm-hmm. with that, like, I'm here, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. like, yeah. hey, yeah. the party can start, I'm here, yeah. you right. know, right. if you walk into any room you're in with that type of energy, mm-hmm. you're going to draw really great things to you. Ooh. You're so right. And so it's about loving yourself, knowing you're unique, that you are fabulous and wonderfully made, and that mm-hmm. there's only, God only made one you, yeah. and that is your superpower. Bam. And superpower. so the more I, the um, email I sent out today said, you know, Sis, screw their opinions. Yeah. Screw them. The, f-, yeah. f them. Be you. Do right. you. Do whatever comes authentic. Do whatever makes you happy. And mm. and just, it doesn't matter who doesn't like it. It doesn't yeah. matter. There's people who hate me. I get hate mail. <laughs> I got people who hate me too. Yeah. 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 That's, that's when you okay. get to a certain point yeah. where you're like, okay, I got people that hate me. Yeah, yeah and that's okay. It feels good. <laughs> and, listen, yeah. and if you not, if you don't have people hating you, you ain't doing something. You ain't right. doing stuff. Because because right. If you are always trying to say everything that makes everybody happy, you're right. not being authentic. You're not being authentic. Because you gotta take a stand on something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. People aren't Can't gonna get on the fence. Like yeah. People aren't gonna like it. Yeah. So be you, do you, and and, and live your best life. I live your it. best life. If you don't have the love of your life, love the one you're with right now. Like, or leave the one you're with <coughs> if you, and if find somebody new. Want. Yeah, if, you don't, if, it's not, if you are not having a good time and you're not happy. Let his ass go. Let it go. Let it go. Or let her ass go. There Whatever. Mr. Let happy. it go. That's right. Yeah, That's if right. you want to be a cat woman, be a cat woman. Mm-hmm. Listen, there's somebody for everybody. That's why I used to say in matchmaking. There's a lid for every pot. Mm. 